Hi, this is me resuming the interviewing series about the same 10 questions, and now this time we're gonna go in like reverse order. So starting from 10. What is the most meaningful piece of advice or life lesson you've ever received, and how has it influenced your life? Um, great question, Zach. Thanks. <laughs> the best piece of advice I received was that you only regret the things you don't do. It's a good answer. Thanks. Very, I don't know, descriptive. Thank you. Number nine. Some very lows. If you could master any skill or talent instantly, what would it be and how would you use it? Um, I always wanted to be a good singer. I thought that I think it'd be cool good to be singer? good at singing. When did you decide No, not like, a, not like a pop singer, just like if I was like had a good singing voice. Like, well, when did you decide that? Just now. Oh. Actually, no, I thought that for a while. It's good. Number eight. If you were given the opportunity to visit any planet in our solar system, which one would you choose and why? Uranus. So, if you don't just know, joking. that's Uranus, the planet. <laughs> don't say bad words. She said just joking. Don't say bad words on your YouTube channel. I mean, what? Mars would be cool. I don't know. Aren't they all the same? No, like... What? No, no, but like, <laughs> we can't go to... Do you the, want to go to Mars? The one with the ring. Saturn. Saturn. He does not know planets. No, I do, I do. She just doesn't know Saturn. Emily Nichols. Number seven. What is the most adventurous or daring thing on your bucket list that you hope to accomplish someday? I want to do like a crazy zip line, like oh. like one like super high like, like cross somewhere. Yeah, like we've already zip line, but like like a like super scary, super high, like super long one. That'd be cool. Like where? Costa Rica. No, I don't know idea. Like just somewhere like like trees and animals. Number six. Um, if you had the ability to speak and understand any language fluently, what would it? What would you choose and why? Fluently. Maybe Spanish. Actually, no. I would choose Farsi so we could speak to Nino so and Bubba Farsi, Farsi is more. some people Persian, and Nino and Bubba Jin is their grandparents. Um, I really appreciate number that five. High five. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is the most unusual or unique item that you have in your possession, and what is its story? I don't know. Can I come back to that? That's a hard sure. Question. Yeah. Sure. Uh, what is the most memorable? Memo how do you say that? Memorable? Memorable dream you've ever had and how did it impact you? I don't know, I feel like I don't remember my dreams like beyond like two days. Once I had a dream that this is kinda once I had a dream that you you drowned and then I was and, and then I was sad and I was like, Oh, I should spend more time with Zach. That's that was good. It impacted you by like wanting to just Spend more time. That's nice. Yes, it was nice. Number doso two. Oh, if you could have a conversation uh, with your future so self, what advice would you want to hear? If I could have a conversation with my future self. Yes. What advice would you want? Would I hear? want to hear from my future self? Yes. Like, you know, what would they want? What would I want what, them to tell me? What would you want to hear? I want to hear that I'm happy and do it. I'm having a happy life. I'm living a happy life. That's good. And that I found a job I like. That's a good answer. Number one, but we still have four and five left. If you could eat only one type of cuisine for the rest of your life, which which one would it, which one would you choose and why? Um, there's no skippings. Maybe Japanese, because then there's like sushi, but there's also like the beef rice bowls. That's I funny. Guess. Our last interviewer said that too. That's so funny. <laughs> Okay. What number... cuisine would you eat? I would eat like I don't know. It's like barbecue. Hot dog. You can't say that. Barbecue, like Texas. Yeah, South Texas American, food. American. American. American food. It's not an American. American cuisine. Okay. We skip. No, we're going to five and four. Right. What is the most unusual or unique item you have in your possession? Is in what is? It's story. I don't know. I don't believe that. You must have something. Something weird. I'm sure I do too. But just um, think about your room. Uh, well, but I don't want to drag this on. Um, what about you? You want to go to you four? Think of something, and then I'll think of it while you think of it. I have most unique. I have this like stuffy and it's like a 
It looks like King Kong. It's really weird. Okay, anyway. Maybe my frilly socks. Well, they're not unique, but like I wear them everywhere. Like like every single day I have a pair of frilly socks on. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Um, Sarah Sarah. Sarah, who, what is My Sarah stuffy I've had since I was two. It's a good answer. Four. Six. Nothing. I don't If I don't you know. could trade lives with any fictional character for a day, who would it be and what would you be? Jasper, well, who would you be? Okay, sorry. No, don't answer. Your next interview. Mm -hmm. Um. Mickey Mouse. Why? Because you gotta, like, live with, like, in a fun house. Oh, he is. <laughs> oh, that's so, oh, that's so random. Okay. Odd parents, that barely odd, odd parents. Oh, backyard again. It's one of those people. Oh, the, like Pablo. Oh, no, I'd want to be what? Equa. Okay. That's all the 10 questions. Bye. Subscribe.